Well, thank you very much. It is a, a real pleasure, obviously, to be here with the Prime Minister, uh, with Warren Engine and Jason Clare, who co-chairs of this group, and of course with Jim Hughes, Steve Callister, Anthony Lowe and Bill Munro, who put on this event for us every year and give us the opportunity to spend uh, a few minutes during a very busy parliamentary week talking about something that matters quite profoundly. The Prime Minister spoke about the 20,000 men that are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year and the 3,000 who die. And a few years ago, my father was one of those 3,000. So, like many families in Australia, we've seen up close what prostate cancer means. I was very fortunate uh, when I was Health Minister to have inherited the great work of Nicola Rockman, uh, who um, released the first ever Australian men's health policy. And uh, building on Nicola's work, and we see uh, ever present support of our Treasurer Wayne Swan, uh, another prostate cancer survivor, we were able to make some great strides, including the two and then three prostate cancer research centres, uh, the clinical trial group for prostate uh, and urological cancers, and of course the fantastic program of the prostate cancer specialist nurses. I know what a difference it makes uh, when you're a family and a man, um, the man and his family going through a diagnosis and treatment of prostate cancer, what a difference it makes to have, re have every step explained to you, uh, to have the, the care and the personal relationship that the fantastic prostate cancer uh, nurses program provides and um, I am absolutely well, I hope I can say I talk with confidently that when your funding is due to expire next year, in June 2017, no doubt the Prime Minister uh, will be able to find a way of continuing to support what is a terrific and growing program, a program that should grow even further. I just want to finish on this um, observation. I was health minister while my father was being treated for prostate cancer. And at the time, every time I spoke to, one of my favourite things to do as well was actually to talk to drug, drug companies about the sort of drugs they had um, in time that were being developed uh, all the time. And there are so many exciting um, developments in prostate cancer treatment, drugs that are dramatically slowing the progress of some types of prostate cancer that hold out enormous hope for improved length and quality of life for prostate cancer uh, patients. Uh, it is absolutely critical that we can continue to support the clinical trials of those medicines. It was heartbreaking for me to know that there were so many drugs so close to um, really taking off to make a difference for patients and to know that they probably would come just a little bit too late uh, for my family. Uh, knowing that they are in development, being rolled out, uh, over the coming years, I think should give all prostate cancer patients enormous hope. And it is the work of organisations like this that continues to support the nurses, continues to support the clinical trials, continues to support innovation in detection, in treatment, and will hope one day in cure. Thank you.